my class? Before we begin, may I ask someone to need a prayer? Yes, Miss Asis. Okay. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Okay. So, let's proceed to our attendance. Is there any absent for today? Alright, that's great. Thank you, Miss Secretary. So, um, let's begin our lesson with a simple activity. Alright? So, I have here a list of different lines from our movies. And I want you to recreate the scene. Or at least copy the expression of um, the lines. Okay. Line number one, who wants to try? Alright, please. Alright, very good. Line number two. Um, yes, you, mister, at the back. Nice. Line number three. Mm, yes, mister Garcia. Okay. Line number four. Um, Miss Achenza. sentence 
already. So let us move on to the next type of sentence, which is interrogative sentence. Okay, everybody read. Interrogative sentence asks a question and ends with a question mark. Example, are you interested in the story of Mary Potter? It asks question. Okay, so do you copy? Okay, so the difference of interrogative sentence to the declarative sentence is that interrogative sentence asks a question while the declarative states fact or opinion. Okay? Interrogative sentence ends with a question mark and the declarative sentence ends with a period. Okay, so now, again, I want you to create your own interrogative sentence. But, but, let's give it a twist, okay? So, I want you to call on a name of your classmate and you have to construct an interrogative sentence for him or her. For example, uh, my sentence will be for Miss Lopez. So, Miss Lopez, can we eat together for lunch? <laughs> okay. So, yes, Mr. Um, Mr. Pamona. Okay. Next, who wants to try? Yes, Mr. Alright, that is correct as well. So, do you understand? Okay. Now, let's move on to the third type of sentence, which is the imperative sentence. Participation. Before we move on 
on to your quiz, I have here a simple activity because I want to measure your understanding regarding this topic. Okay, so I want you to create a uh, declarative sentence, interrogative sentence, imperative, and exclamatory sentence based on the picture that I will show you. The first picture is this. Okay, can you see it clearly? Okay, that's good. So, declarative sentence, who wants to try? Yes, miss. Okay, very good. Interrogative sentence, yes? Okay, nice. Next is imperative sentence. Yes, mister. Okay, correct. And lastly, exclamatory sentence. Hmm? Okay, miss? Alright. Very good. Picture number two is this. Declarative sentence. Miss Assis. Very good. Interrogative sentence, Miss Achenza. Okay. Next. Imperative sentence. Miss Kinagoran. Okay. And lastly, exclamatory sentence. Um, Mr. Camilara. Okay. Nice try. Third picture. Declarative sentence again, Miss. Correct. Interrogative. Correct again. Imperative sentence. Hmm? Yes, Mister. Nice. And next is exclamatory sentence. Okay. So, last picture. Declarative sentence. Yes, miss. Correct. Um, next is interrogative sentence. Yes, mister. Correct again. Mm, next is imperative sentence. Yes, miss? Yes. Exclamatory sentence? Okay. Very good. So, I can see that you really understand this four type of sentences. Again, without looking at the board, we have four types of sentences and these are declarative, interrogative, Imperative and exclamatory. Very good. Who can tell me the differences of the four? Without looking at the board, please. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very good. Now, let's move on to your group activity. And we will be using the group from last, um, last activity, okay? So, I have here a list of um, situations and I want you to create a radio drama or a dialogue showing the situations using the four types of sentences that we have discussed today. Group leaders, pick one. Teacher's 
Day celebration. Group 3, what's your situation? You want to convince your family to adopt a dog or pet. Next is group 4. Alright, what's your situation? You were informed that you've got missing activities at school. So I will be giving you um, 15 minutes to prepare. Is that enough? Okay, your time starts now. Okay class, your 15 minutes is up. Are you ready for your presentation? Okay, very good. Group 1. I will be giving you the floor. Goodbye class, thank you again for your participation and see you tomorrow.